Ma, 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 what it do, bro? Ski, it's your main man, Young Davy. Matt Fly, two wise man. Checking in, you know what I'm saying? Back with another bang, little bro, Ski. And yup, you see what we got going on today? We kicking it old school. You know what I'm saying? Taking it back to the OG. How I lace my Olympic. Air Jordan 6, 2024 jump, you know what I'm saying? Kick it out of school one time. I ain't did one of these videos in so long. And, and for a classic, I think it would be appropriate for this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, y'all know it's rules to the lace game, and I'll elaborate on the rules a little bit later. But one thing we always get to do in the how I lace my videos is get off a good story time. And I kind of saved the how I lace my videos for real heat and, and, and classics and sneakers that I have a story with. This shoe right here, bro, this is one of them ones. Definitely a classic. Um, This is the shoe that I would say when it released in 2012 this is the sneaker that I got back into sneaker collecting with heavy um the first shoe I got to start the collection was the playoff 12s then the second shoe the very second shoe that I bought and purchased and kind of went on a hunt for because it had released already but I was like, oh man, it's on now. You know what I'm saying? Was this Olympic six? And I got a size of nine and a half. Um, dude said he had only wore it one time, and I got it for like 150 bucks off of was it either offer up or let go? One of them sites like that back in the day, possibly Craigslist, bro, in 2012. But I do know it was like one of those sites or apps where, you know what I'm saying, buy, sell, trade, junk, win a consignment shop, nothing like that. And it actually was a real pair. So, yeah, man, it was pretty cool. And then, too, either I don't know if my foot got bigger or shoes was cut bigger back then, but yeah it was a nine and a half and i could wear it i rocked out comfortable with it and was smooth with it i only had to get rid of it because i had hit a tough spot sold a bunch of shoes and at that point in time i had the olympic sevens so it was like i got the olympic sixes and the sevens you know what i'm saying i don't really need both i'm never gonna wear the olympic six over the seven at that point in time that's how i was thinking i just needed a reason to get rid of it and not feel bad you know what i mean so yeah i ended up selling that junk eventually and, and yeah when it released and where we at with it now I had to have them now to my understanding this one is closer than the original that dropped in 2000 correct me if i'm wrong but the difference is is um the pair that i had had white on the mid well no had like navy blue on the mid so and these are white on the mid so you know what i mean which at that point in time i i didn't know a difference and hadn't watched og jump man boston man videos <laughs> to to educate myself on what would be the difference in between the og and the retro but I was just happy to have the pair for sure. Now, this pair, this pair, this 2024 pair is fire, bro. I like it better than 2012. Um, and I got it at a size 10 and a half, one whole full size up. You know what I'm saying? And yup, these are staying in the collection forever. <laughs> But yeah, man, shortly after that, I started uploading sneaker videos on YouTube because I had been collecting for a little while at this point. 
um I had a couple gems in the collection. I had got like barely fives on release date and really ain't you know what I'm saying I wasn't making sneaker contact when the sneaker content when the Bell FIs dropped or none of that so like at that point I had a I had a couple of little gems in my collection and I felt comfortable even speaking about sneakers and I think like my first two three years or until the first how I laced my video I really didn't even talk in my videos it would be strictly sneakers and music it was straight sneakers and music about like the pickup video for this shoe I kind of took it back to the roots with that you know what I mean because I didn't want to come on sounding like a suit a, a sneaker geek or uh or like I knew everything about the shoe I'm still to this day learning about sneakers different materials and different silhouettes different things about sneakers all together i'm still learning i'm still a student i just don't you know what i'm saying get too crazy with it in front of the camera anymore but this shoe was definitely special because i looked it up on youtube to make sure that i didn't buy a fake sneaker and that's when i started running into night wings and Foma Simpsons and Jumpman Bostics and there was a guy named Air Randy you know what I'm saying like an older Spanish guy he was cool as shit but I don't know if his shoes was real like I think Cats was trying to call him out and say his shoes was fake and mistake I I'm sorry if that wasn't the right name but I do believe the name was like Air Randy or something you know what I mean but it was a lot of controversy in the sneaker uh and, 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 and like the sneaker sector or, or shoe tube with the Olympic sixes because it was guys or a guy showing fake pairs so you know what I'm saying it was this big thing about who's the, who got the real shoes and who got the fake ones you know what I mean it wouldn't be it wouldn't it it, it wouldn't disrespectful it was just about like just keeping it real and it, it was still tasteful you know what I'm saying but that was that was kind of like my beginning to even watching sneaker content on youtube before i started creating so yeah man this olympic six it, it hold a lot of memories and it's based around just the very start of me collecting and now i'm over 200 pair of shoes in bro it's kind of ridiculous you know what i'm saying so yep back to the lace game though <laughs> You see I'm going with a loose lace style And I dropped the lace lock on the bottom You know what I'm saying On that bottom loop right down there at the toe That's how MJ wear his sixes You know what I'm saying Back in the day That's how she, everybody with the, the sauce for real Wear they sixes You drop the toggle at the bottom On certain silhouettes On certain silhouettes not all this one is definitely one of those where you drop that toggle down there you know what i'm saying infrared sixes white and black you drop the joint yeah and you can see with the other one i do how i do my rest of my sixes you know what i'm saying like the gatorade sixes that had that cool little gatorade bottle for the lace lock just hung, hung it on the side off the sneaker yeah i either put it on the toe or at the you know what i'm saying just hang it off the inside now boom rules to the lace game man woman cat dog female frog duck pig truck palo out bro i don't give no motherfuck the man who buy the shoe that's who has to say and how they should be laced you know what i'm saying and if your mom do so your pops brought your shoe and they say hey little bro time up that's probably what you should do but if you paid for them Express yourself You do you man That take us straight to rule number two And you see it's hot out there boy I'm sweating the sweat hitting the flow I'm stepping on that boy But yeah it was hot that day Anyway 
Um, rule number two, do you, man? It's no wrong or right way to lace your shoe, brother. It's really not. You know what I'm saying? If you got your own way, uh, a tiny boys up. If you choke them out and and that's what you want to do, hey, do that. But I loose lace mine to keep them from creasing up, release tension from the stress points in the sneaker, and to keep them fresher a little bit longer. Trust me, it actually work. And rule number three, you don't like me. My videos are what you see. Get the fuck on, bitch. You know what I'm saying? We do this shit for the mob and the mob only. And I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. I appreciate all the love and support over the years. It's been a crazy ride, bro. But we still at it. Still having fun. And I ain't going nowhere, man. You know what I'm saying? Even if I slow down. Hey, hey, hey. Your boy I always be around. You did. i catch y'all on the next video. Peace. From my family to yours.